but not working as efficiently as it should. So I think laser hmm. disc pad should help. Can you make a video for front disc pad, please? Sure, let's do it. So the process to remove the front disc pad is same as the rear ones. If you see the disc assembly and at the bottom, you will find this locking pin. So first step is to remove this locking pin. So for that, you can use a nose plier and simply pull this pin out. Just like this. So the pin will come out easily. And now you need to remove this pin. So you can see there is a hole this side, right? And you need to push this pin from this hole outwards. So I'm using a nail the flat side of the nail and hammering it out so the pin will come out easily keep the pin safe and now you can simply remove the disc pads okay similar to the second one and again, I need to mention, do not press the front brakes or else the piston will come out and you won't be able to install this. So you can see the disc pads are so dirty. So let's clean it and reinstall them. So I'm using this soapy water to clean the disc pads. Soak them well. And now with the help of a microfiber towel, I can simply clean it. So basically this plate is removable, so you can remove it and then clean it. Do not bend this plate, otherwise it would be very difficult to install them back. So just clean it gently. Okay, now comes the second one. Okay, reinstall the plates, align the holes. Okay, so these pads are now clean. Now what I will do, I will just remove the upper hard layer from this disc pads using a sandpaper. So here I'm using a 220 grit sandpaper. We'll lay it down flat and gently. I'm not applying any pressure, I'm simply rubbing it in a round direction. See, you can compare the disc pads. This one is very dull and this is a bit shiny. So I will do the same with this one. Okay. So the pads are now clean, uh, let's reinstall them back. To reinstall, simply place the disc pad in their position. Okay, just like that. And before installing the pin, let's clean it with some WD-40. Let's also clean the locking pin. This will not only clean, it will also prevent it from rusting. So now align the holes and insert the pin. So you can see the pin is out a bit. You need to hammer it back into its position. So I'm using a chisel to hammer it back into its position. So the pin is in its place now. Okay, so now let's install this locking pin. The hole might have disoriented, so you can just find it. So in this case, it came to bottom. You just need to rotate it like this and just push the pin. That's it. So this is how you remove and reinstall the front disc pads. You can follow the same process if you want to replace the disc pads. Okay, so that's all for this video. Hope you liked it. See you soon in another one. Till then, goodbye.